One of the things we can do when we have this time, which is much to our advantage, is the golf ball just destroys our sense of body feels because we feel nothing but the ball and we watch what the ball does and we lost our feel of our body. So we can take this time to learn a higher degree of proprioception, three-dimensional understanding of where our body is. And when you hold the club down here near the club head, like eight inches from the club head, you can see how the back of your left hand and the club face are similar and the palm of your right hand and the club face are similar. And the other day we talked about how you load and unload your feet. So you load your feet, you start to feel that. You can feel how your weight goes from your heel to your toe. And you start to feel that you don't feel that normally. Okay, so you feel your feet and you get on your left foot. But the other things you can feel, you can start to feel how your right hip retracts and you stand on it and you feel your right leg straighten. And then we put a little slide in our hip work and then you retract your left hip and go all the way to the end. The other thing now, now that we've felt our hips, the other thing you can feel is your shoulders. And it's so critical for your right shoulder not to go out, but it's just for it to stay in. So you're always trying to keep your right shoulder in. And when you, when you have the shoulder in and you have that hip slide and you take that left hip and retract it, then your left shoulder can go all the way behind you. And like a center fielder, we take our left side behind us so we can get our right side farther through. Now when you take this to the golf course, this will really help. Oh, and one more thing. When you hold the club close to the club head like this, and if you use your wrist inappropriately to give you more speed, you'll know. You don't always know when you're practicing around the golf course.